Almond trees are primarily cultivated in regions such as the United States, particularly in California, and some countries in the Middle East. These trees thrive in Mediterranean climates, characterized by mild, wet winters and hot, dry summers. The ideal conditions for almond cultivation include well-drained soil and ample sunlight. The process of planting almond trees typically commences in mid-February, aligning with the end of the winter season and the onset of spring. This timing allows the young saplings to establish their root systems before the warmer weather stimulates active growth. Farmers carefully select suitable sites and prepare the soil to ensure optimal conditions for the initial growth phase. To safeguard the delicate seedlings from potential threats such as stem borers and excessive sunlight, farmers employ protective measures such as covers or shelters. These covers shield the young almond trees from pests and harsh environmental conditions, fostering their healthy development during the critical early stages. Pruning plays a crucial role in the management of almond orchards and is typically performed at the onset of winter, approximately two years after planting. Pruning helps maintain the desired shape of the trees, promotes air circulation within the canopy, and facilitates light penetration, which is essential for photosynthesis and fruit development. The first significant harvest of almonds typically occurs three to four years after planting, marking the culmination of the tree's juvenile phase and the onset of consistent fruit production. Almond orchards require regular care and maintenance throughout the growing season to ensure optimal yield and quality of the crop. Despite their productivity, almond trees have a finite lifespan, typically ranging from 25 to 28 years on average. As the trees age, their productivity may decline, necessitating periodic replanting to sustainably manage orchards and maintain high-quality almond production. Growers often implement strategic orchard management practices to maximize the longevity and productivity of almond trees while minimizing environmental impact. Pruning is a critical practice in almond tree cultivation, typically conducted at the onset of winter, around two years after planting. Pruning serves multiple purposes, including shaping the tree's structure, improving air circulation within the canopy, and promoting the penetration of sunlight, essential for photosynthesis and fruit development. By removing excess or diseased branches, pruning helps maintain the overall health and vigor of the almond tree, reducing the risk of pest infestations and diseases. Proper pruning techniques also encourage the formation of lateral branches, where most of the almond crop is produced, thereby maximizing yield potential. Harvesting almonds is a significant milestone in the cultivation process, typically occurring three to four years after planting. The timing of the harvest is crucial to ensure optimal nut quality and yield. Almond trees typically begin to bear fruit in their third or fourth year, depending on various factors such as cultivar, growing conditions, and management practices. Once the almonds reach maturity, they undergo a process known as hull split, where the outer hull of the nut begins to crack open, exposing the shell and kernel inside. Harvesting usually takes place shortly after hull split, using specialized equipment such as shakers and sweepers to efficiently gather the nuts from the orchard floor. Careful handling and timely processing are essential to preserve the quality and freshness of the harvested almonds, which are then transported to processing facilities for hulling, shelling, and packaging. Almond blossoms represent the precursor to the development of almond nuts and play a crucial role in the pollination process. These delicate blossoms typically emerge between February and March, heralding the arrival of spring in almond-growing regions. The timing of almond blossom varies slightly depending on factors such as climate and geographical location. During this period, almond orchards transform into breathtaking displays of white and pink flowers, attracting pollinators such as honeybees in large numbers. Honeybees are the primary pollinators of almond trees, diligently transferring pollen from one flower to another as they forage for nectar and pollen. The successful pollination of almond blossoms is essential for the development of healthy nuts and is a critical factor in determining almond yield and quality. Growers often collaborate with beekeepers to ensure adequate pollination by maintaining healthy honeybee populations and strategically placing hives within orchards during the bloom period. The almond harvesting process is a culmination of months of growth and development, typically spanning five to six months from the initial flowering to the final harvest. After the almond blossoms appear, the trees undergo pollination, leading to the formation of almond fruits. Over the following months, the almonds undergo significant growth and maturation, with the outer hull gradually splitting to reveal the mature nut inside. 
This period is crucial for the development of the almonds as they accumulate essential nutrients and reach optimal size and quality for harvesting. Harvesting almonds involves a combination of mechanical and manual methods, with shaking being the primary technique employed to dislodge the ripe nuts from the trees. Specialized equipment, such as mechanical shakers, are used to vibrate the tree trunks, causing the almonds to fall to the ground. Once the nuts have been shaken loose, they are collected from the orchard floor using sweepers or other harvesting equipment. Care is taken to ensure that only mature almonds are harvested, as premature nuts may not have reached their full size or nutritional value. In some almond-producing regions, particularly those with dry climates, sun drying is a common practice employed to further enhance the quality of the harvested almonds. After being shaken from the trees, the almonds are spread out in the sun to dry for approximately a week. Sun drying helps reduce the moisture content of the nuts, which is crucial for preventing mold and spoilage during storage. Additionally, sun drying can impart a desirable flavor profile to the almonds, enhancing their overall taste and texture. Following harvesting and any necessary drying processes, the almonds are transported to processing facilities for further handling and preparation. At the processing plant, the almonds undergo a series of steps, including hulling, shelling, and sorting to remove the outer hull and shell and separate the kernels. Once the almonds have been processed, they are carefully inspected for quality and then packaged for distribution to consumers. From orchard to consumer, the entire almond harvesting process is meticulously managed to ensure that the final product meets the highest standards of quality and freshness. The peanut farming process begins with the cultivation of peanuts on farms, where the nuts are grown in fields under optimal growing conditions. Peanuts thrive in warm climates with well-drained soil, making regions like the southeastern United States ideal for cultivation. Farmers carefully prepare the soil, plant the peanut seeds, and provide necessary irrigation and pest management throughout the growing season to ensure healthy growth and development of the peanut plants. Unlike some other food companies, major peanut brands such as Hubs and Planters do not typically engage in the direct cultivation of peanuts. Instead, these companies rely on a network of suppliers, including de-shelling companies, to source their raw materials. These companies specialize in the processing and de-shelling of peanuts, purchasing them from farms and preparing them for distribution to food manufacturers and retailers. De-shelling companies play a pivotal role in the peanut supply chain, acting as intermediaries between peanut farms and food companies. These companies purchase peanuts from farmers, often in large quantities, and process them to remove the outer shells, leaving behind the edible kernels. Once de-shelled, the peanuts are sorted, cleaned, and packaged according to customer specifications before being sold to food manufacturers or distributors. Elisha Barnes stands out as a unique figure in the commercial peanut farming industry in America. He is renowned for his commitment to traditional farming methods and the meticulous care he applies to growing and harvesting peanuts by hand. While mechanized farming has become the norm in modern agriculture, Barnes's dedication to manual labor sets him apart as one of the few remaining farmers who still cultivate peanuts in this manner. Barnes's method of peanut farming involves a labor-intensive process that begins with hand-planting the peanut seeds in the field. Once the peanut plants have matured, Barnes employs an age-old technique known as shocking, where the harvested plants are lifted and stacked on poles to dry. This process typically lasts for about six weeks, allowing the peanuts to fully mature and dry before further processing. Harvesting peanuts by hand requires specialized equipment, and Barnes has adapted a picker to suit his needs. Despite the age of the equipment, Barnes modifies it to integrate with his tractor, allowing for efficient and effective harvesting of the peanuts from the fields. By combining traditional farming methods with innovative approaches, Barnes demonstrates a deep respect for the land and a dedication to preserving the heritage of peanut farming in America. Commercial peanut production involves large-scale cultivation of peanuts across vast expanses of agricultural land, typically measured in acres. Peanuts are planted in rows, with careful consideration given to spacing and soil quality to optimize yield. Once mature, the peanuts are dug up from the soil using specialized equipment, such as peanut diggers or harvesters. After harvesting, the peanuts are left out in the sun to dry a process known as field curing. Field curing helps reduce the moisture content of the peanuts, preparing them for further processing and storage. Following field curing, the harvested peanuts are gathered and sold to de-shelling companies, which specialize in processing raw peanuts to extract the edible kernels. De-shelling companies purchase peanuts from farmers and transport them to their processing facilities, where the outer shells are removed to reveal the peanut kernels inside. 
This process involves various stages including cleaning, destoning, and deshelling to ensure the quality and purity of the final product. Once deshelled, the peanuts are sorted, grated, and packaged for distribution to food manufacturers and retailers. The peanut industry offers a range of peanut grades to meet the diverse needs of customers and end users. Different grades of peanuts are classified based on factors such as size, color, and quality. These grades are designated for various uses, including snacking, peanut butter production, confectionery, and culinary applications. Peanut grading helps ensure consistency and quality in the final products and allows brands to select peanuts that best suit their specific requirements. Major peanut brands, such as Hubs, rely on sourcing high-quality peanuts to maintain their reputation and meet consumer demand for premium products. Brands like Hubs specialize in the production of roasted and seasoned peanuts, offering a range of flavored peanut snacks to consumers. Hubs employs a unique cooking process to achieve the desired flavor and texture in their peanuts. This process typically involves water blanching, where the peanuts are briefly submerged in hot water to remove any remaining skin or impurities. After blanching, the peanuts are fried in oil to impart a crisp and savory taste. Additional seasoning and flavorings may be added to enhance the taste profile of the peanuts before packaging. Through meticulous attention to detail and quality control, brands like Hubs deliver delicious and satisfying peanut snacks enjoyed by consumers worldwide. Commercial peanut production encompasses various methods for preparing peanuts for consumption, each offering unique flavors and textures. One such method, distinct from the conventional dry roasting approach, involves specialized cooking techniques to achieve specific taste profiles. This method is considered a specialty within the industry as it imparts distinct flavors and textures to the peanuts, enhancing their appeal to consumers. By deviating from traditional roasting methods, companies can create innovative peanut products that cater to diverse preferences and culinary trends. Companies involved in commercial peanut production often rely on time-tested cooking and processing techniques passed down through generations. These techniques are refined over years of experience and experimentation, resulting in proprietary methods that set the company's products apart from competitors. For example, some companies utilize continuous cook and blanch processes, which have been meticulously developed by their family over generations. These processes ensure consistency and quality in the final product, providing consumers with a memorable eating experience that reflects the company's heritage and expertise. Once the peanuts have undergone the cooking process, they are carefully coated in various ingredients to enhance their flavor and texture. Common coatings include salt or chocolate, which adds savory or sweet notes to the peanuts, respectively. After coating, the peanuts are packed into cans or other packaging formats, ready for distribution to retailers and consumers. The packaging process involves meticulous attention to detail to ensure that the peanuts remain fresh and flavorful until they reach the hands of eager snackers. In addition to traditional coatings like salt or chocolate, some peanuts undergo a more elaborate process involving chocolate enrobing. This process employs state-of-the-art equipment, such as a chocolate enrober, operated by skilled candy makers. The peanuts are carefully dipped or coated in melted chocolate, creating a decadent outer layer that complements the nutty flavor of the peanuts. Chocolate enrobing adds a touch of indulgence to the peanuts, making them a popular choice for special occasions or as a gourmet treat. Through innovative techniques and attention to detail, companies elevate the humble peanut into a premium snack, enjoyed by discerning consumers around the world. Peanut packaging is a crucial step in the commercialization process, ensuring that the freshly cooked peanuts reach consumers in optimal condition. Once the peanuts have undergone the cooking process, they are carefully weighed and portioned before being packed into cans or containers. This step helps maintain consistency in portion sizes and ensures that each package contains a satisfying quantity of peanuts. The packaging process is typically automated, with machinery filling and sealing the cans efficiently to minimize handling and preserve the freshness of the product. By packaging the peanuts in cans, companies provide a convenient and portable format that allows consumers to enjoy their favorite snacks on the go. Each can of peanuts is meticulously sealed to prevent air and moisture from entering, which could compromise the quality and shelf life of the product. Additionally, to facilitate easy opening, each is equipped with a key or pull tab that allows consumers to access the contents without the need for additional tools. This user-friendly packaging design enhances the consumer experience, making it effortless to enjoy the delicious, freshly cooked peanuts inside. In addition to traditional packaging formats, some peanuts undergo a more elaborate process involving coating in chocolate or other confections before being packaged. 
After the peanuts have been coated, they are carefully arranged and packaged to preserve their appearance and flavor. Chocolate-coated peanuts offer a delightful combination of crunchy nuts and rich, creamy chocolate, making them a popular choice for indulgent snacking. The packaging for chocolate-coated peanuts may vary depending on the manufacturer's preferences and the desired presentation of the product. Peanut brands like Hubs offer a wide range of flavors and seasonings to cater to diverse consumer preferences. From classic salted peanuts to bold and spicy varieties, Hubs provides options to suit every taste. These flavored peanuts are carefully seasoned using premium ingredients and expertly crafted recipes to deliver a delicious snacking experience. Whether consumers crave the tangy zest of barbecue seasoning or the fiery kick of jalapeno, Hubs ensures that there's a flavor for everyone. By offering a variety of flavors and seasonings, peanut brands enhance the versatility and appeal of their products, enticing consumers to explore new taste sensations with every bite. The chocolate enrobing process begins with the preparation of the enrober, a specialized machine designed for coating food items with a layer of chocolate. The enrober typically contains a large reservoir of liquid chocolate, with capacities often reaching around 250 pounds or more. This ample supply of chocolate ensures continuous operation of the enrobing process, minimizing downtime for refilling and maximizing efficiency in chocolate coating production. To initiate the enrobing process, the liquid chocolate is pumped up into a horizontal pipe fitted with small holes, forming a curtain of chocolate as it flows downward into a trough. This horizontal pipe serves as the primary conduit for delivering a steady stream of chocolate onto the food items passing through the enrober. The flow rate and temperature of the chocolate are carefully controlled to achieve optimal coating consistency and coverage. As the chocolate curtain cascades down into the trough, a double curtain system is employed to ensure thorough coating of the food items passing through the enrober. The double curtain consists of both a leading curtain and a trailing curtain, which work in tandem to envelop the food items in a uniform layer of chocolate. This dual curtain design helps minimize excess chocolate buildup and ensures even distribution of the coating, resulting in consistent quality across all coated products. Once the chocolate curtain is established, the food items to be coated, such as peanuts, are fed into the enrober and pass through the flowing chocolate curtain. As the peanuts move through the enrober, they become completely enveloped in a layer of chocolate, adhering to the surface of each nut. Any excess chocolate that does not adhere to the peanuts is carefully collected and recycled within the machine, minimizing waste and maximizing efficiency in chocolate usage. As the chocolate-coated peanuts exit the enrober, they undergo a cooling process to set the chocolate coating and ensure a smooth, glossy finish. This cooling stage typically involves passing the coated peanuts through a refrigerated tunnel or chamber, where chilled air circulates around the product, rapidly lowering the temperature of the chocolate coating. Proper cooling is essential for achieving the desired texture and appearance of the final product, ensuring that the chocolate coating remains firm and stable, ready for packaging and distribution. The can filling process marks the culmination of a journey for the peanuts, from cultivation and processing to packaging and distribution. After being carefully selected, harvested, and processed, the peanuts are prepared for packaging in cans. This journey involves various stages, including cleaning, roasting, and possibly coating or seasoning, depending on the desired final product. Throughout this process, quality control measures are implemented to ensure that only the finest peanuts make it to the can filling stage. Once the peanuts have been processed and deemed ready for packaging, they move on to the next step in the production line. Shortly after completing their journey through the processing line, the peanuts are sealed up in cans, ready for storage, distribution, and ultimately, consumption by eager snackers. The can filling process involves carefully measuring and portioning the peanuts into individual cans, ensuring that each container contains a consistent quantity of nuts. Now let's talk a bit about the pistachio production. The U.S. pistachio industry stands as a dominant force in the global market, with the United States holding the position of the leading producer of pistachios worldwide. Accounting for approximately 40% of the world's pistachio production, the U.S. plays a crucial role in meeting both domestic and international demand for this highly sought-after nut. This significant market presence underscores the importance of the U.S. pistachio industry in shaping global trade dynamics and satisfying consumer preferences for pistachios. California's San Joaquin and Sacramento Valley regions serve as the epicenter of commercial pistachio production in the United States. 
These regions boast ideal climatic conditions and fertile soils conducive to pistachio cultivation, making them prime locations for orchards. In fact, over 98% of the domestic pistachio crop is cultivated in California, highlighting the state's pivotal role in driving the U.S. pistachio industry forward. The concentration of pistachio orchards in these regions demonstrates the strategic importance of California in supplying pistachios to both national and international markets. The year 2022 marked a significant milestone for California pistachio growers, as they achieved a record-breaking harvest in terms of both volume and value. With a remarkable output of 1 billion pounds of pistachio nuts, California emerged as a powerhouse in pistachio production, contributing to the state's agricultural prosperity. The record harvest translated into substantial economic gains, with the farm gate value of California pistachios exceeding $1.8 billion. This unprecedented success highlights the resilience and innovation of California's pistachio industry, showcasing its ability to thrive and prosper amidst changing market dynamics and environmental challenges. Pistachio cultivation in the United States is characterized by its long-term nature, with orchards representing a significant investment for growers. Unlike many other crops, pistachio orchards have an impressive lifespan, capable of producing nuts for several decades. In fact, well-maintained pistachio orchards can endure for 70 to 100 years, providing a consistent and reliable source of income for growers over the long term. This longevity underscores the importance of careful planning and management in pistachio cultivation, as growers must consider factors such as site selection, irrigation, and pest control to ensure the sustained productivity and profitability of their orchards. The cultivation of pistachios begins with meticulous soil preparation to provide an optimal environment for the growth of pistachio trees. This process involves cultivating and grading the soil to ensure proper drainage and nutrient availability. By breaking up compacted soil and removing debris, growers create a suitable foundation for newly planted pistachio trees to establish a deep and healthy root system. Soil preparation sets the stage for successful pistachio cultivation by promoting root development and enhancing the tree's ability to access water and nutrients from the soil. Specialized equipment plays a crucial role in the pistachio cultivation process, particularly during the planting phase. Growers utilize machinery designed to break up hardpan layers beneath the soil surface, ensuring adequate root penetration and water infiltration. Additionally, specialized equipment is used to shape the terrain, forming raised beds or individual mounds where pistachio trees will be planted. These raised beds improve soil drainage and reduce the risk of waterlogging, creating favorable conditions for pistachio tree growth and development. By leveraging advanced equipment and techniques, growers can optimize soil structure and promote healthy root growth, setting the stage for successful pistachio cultivation. The harvesting process of pistachios is characterized by its long-term nature and requires careful planning and management to achieve optimal yields. Young pistachio trees typically take five to six years to reach maturity and begin producing nuts, requiring ongoing care and attention during the establishment phase. Growers must provide proper irrigation, fertilization, and pest control measures to support the healthy growth of young pistachio trees and ensure their successful transition to bearing fruit. Additionally, growers monitor tree health and adjust cultivation practices as needed to optimize yield potential and minimize stress factors. By investing in the long-term care and maintenance of pistachio orchards, growers can maximize productivity and profitability over the lifespan of their trees. Pistachio trees are known for their alternate bearing nature, which presents a unique challenge for growers in managing orchards and maximizing yield. Alternate bearing refers to the tendency of pistachio trees to produce heavy crops one year, followed by lighter crops the next, resulting in fluctuations in yield from season to season. This irregular fruiting pattern can pose challenges for growers in terms of resource allocation, as they must adjust cultivation practices and harvest strategies to optimize productivity. To mitigate the effects of alternate bearing, growers employ various techniques such as thinning fruit clusters, pruning, and implementing cultural practices to promote more consistent yields and balance tree vigor. Effective orchard management and strategic planning are essential for navigating the challenges posed by alternate bearing and ensuring the long-term sustainability of pistachio cultivation operations. The pistachio growing season spans from late March to late August or early September, culminating in the harvest of mature nuts. During this period, pistachio trees undergo several stages of growth and development, including flowering, fruit set, nut maturation, and ripening. Flowering typically occurs in early spring, followed by pollination and fruit set, where pistachio trees produce clusters of developing nuts. 
As the season progresses, nuts undergo physiological changes and reach maturity by late summer, signaling the onset of harvest. Growers carefully monitor weather conditions, tree health, and nut development throughout the growing season to determine the optimal timing for harvest, ensuring that nuts are harvested at peak ripeness for maximum flavor and quality. Water management, precise irrigation, fertilization, and pest management are integral components of the cultivation process in pistachio orchards. Adequate water supply is crucial for supporting tree growth, nut development, and overall orchard health, particularly during periods of high water demand such as flowering and nut fill. Growers implement precise irrigation techniques, such as drip or micro-sprinkler systems, to deliver water efficiently and minimize wastage. Additionally, fertilization practices are tailored to meet the nutritional needs of pistachio trees, ensuring balanced nutrient uptake and optimal crop yield. Pest management strategies are essential for protecting pistachio trees from damage caused by insects, diseases, and other pests that can reduce yield and quality. Integrated pest management approaches, incorporating biological controls, cultural practices, and judicious use of pesticides, help growers effectively manage pest populations while minimizing environmental impact. By prioritizing water management, precise irrigation, fertilization, and pest management, growers can optimize the health and productivity of pistachio orchards, ensuring sustainable crop production and long-term profitability. The harvesting of pistachios typically commences in late August or early September, coinciding with the period when nuts reach peak ripeness and are ready for harvest. Mechanical shakers are commonly employed to facilitate the harvesting process as they gently vibrate the branches of pistachio trees, causing mature nuts to detach and fall to the ground. This mechanized approach allows for efficient and timely harvesting, ensuring that nuts are collected at their optimal stage of ripeness. By utilizing mechanical shakers, growers can streamline the harvesting process and minimize labor costs, ultimately maximizing operational efficiency and yield. Precision harvesting techniques play a critical role in ensuring the careful collection and preservation of pistachios to maintain their quality. Once harvested, pistachios undergo meticulous sorting and cleaning to remove debris, leaves, and other contaminants. Specialized equipment, such as air blowers and vibrating screens, is utilized to separate high-quality nuts from undesirable materials, ensuring that only premium-grade pistachios are processed further. By employing precision harvesting techniques, growers can uphold the integrity and value of their pistachio crop, delivering superior quality nuts to consumers and markets worldwide. After harvesting, pistachios undergo a series of processing steps to prepare them for consumption. One essential stage in the processing chain is the mechanical separation of split shells from closed shells. This process typically involves passing the harvested pistachios through specialized equipment, such as shellers or crackers, which apply controlled pressure to crack open the shells without damaging the enclosed kernels. Once split, the shells are separated from the kernels through mechanical means, such as air blowers or sorting machines, resulting in clean and intact pistachio kernels ready for further processing or packaging. Following the initial processing steps, harvested pistachios are carefully stored under controlled conditions to maintain their freshness and quality. Storage facilities are maintained at temperatures ranging from 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit, as this temperature range helps preserve the flavor, texture, and nutritional value of the pistachios while preventing spoilage and deterioration. Additionally, controlled humidity levels are maintained to minimize the risk of mold growth and insect infestation, ensuring that pistachios remain in optimal condition until they are ready to be packaged for market. By implementing proper storage practices, growers can prolong the shelf life of their pistachio crop and preserve its premium quality for consumers to enjoy. In pistachio processing, one important step is the potential fumigation of the nuts to safeguard the crop against insect damage. Fumigation involves the use of specialized chemicals or gases to eliminate or deter pests that may pose a threat to the quality and integrity of the pistachios. By subjecting the nuts to fumigation, processors can effectively control insect populations and mitigate the risk of infestation during storage and transportation. This preventive measure helps maintain the overall quality of the pistachio crop and ensures that consumers receive safe and pest-free products. The process of fumigation in pistachio processing is meticulously controlled to ensure both efficacy and safety. Carefully calibrated equipment and precise application methods are employed to administer fumigants in a controlled manner, minimizing the risk of overexposure or residues that could affect the quality of the nuts. 
Moreover, strict adherence to safety protocols and regulatory guidelines is paramount to protect the health of workers and consumers alike. Through careful monitoring and supervision, processors can maintain optimal conditions for fumigation, thereby safeguarding the quality and safety of the pistachio crop while meeting regulatory standards. Throughout the pistachio processing journey, processors prioritize the delivery of exceptional quality and flavor to meet consumer expectations and market demands. From sorting and cleaning to roasting and packaging, every stage of the processing chain is meticulously managed to ensure that only the finest pistachios make it to the market. Quality control measures, such as visual inspections, sensory evaluations, and laboratory testing are implemented to assess the appearance, taste, and nutritional content of the nuts. By maintaining stringent quality standards and adhering to best practices, processors can uphold the reputation of their pistachio products and satisfy discerning consumers seeking premium quality nuts. Pistachio cultivation is a labor-intensive and exacting process that requires dedication and meticulous attention to detail from growers. From preparing the soil to harvesting the nuts, every stage of pistachio cultivation demands careful management and precise execution to ensure optimal growth and yield. Growers must invest significant time and effort in tasks such as soil preparation, irrigation management, pest control, and pruning to nurture healthy pistachio trees and maximize crop production. The labor-intensive nature of pistachio cultivation underscores the importance of skilled labor and effective management practices in achieving success in the orchard. Successful pistachio cultivation demands a steadfast commitment to quality and excellence from growers. Attention to detail is paramount throughout the cultivation process, as even minor deviations or oversights can impact the health and productivity of pistachio trees. Growers must meticulously monitor environmental conditions, nutrient levels, and pest pressures to ensure optimal growing conditions for their orchards. Additionally, adherence to best practices in irrigation, fertilization, and disease management is essential to safeguard the quality and yield of the pistachio crop. By maintaining a steadfast commitment to quality, growers can cultivate premium pistachios that meet consumer expectations and command premium prices in the market. The cultivation of young pistachio trees requires careful attention and specialized techniques to ensure their successful establishment and long-term productivity. Young pistachio trees are particularly vulnerable to environmental stresses, pests, and diseases, necessitating proactive care and management from growers. Key tasks involved in the careful cultivation of young pistachio trees include proper site selection, irrigation management, weed control, and protection from pests and diseases. Growers must also implement training and pruning practices to shape the trees and promote optimal branching structure for future nut production. By investing in the careful cultivation of young pistachio trees, growers lay the foundation for healthy, productive orchards that can thrive for decades to come. Engaging in pistachio farming can bring numerous rewards to dedicated growers. Beyond the financial gains, pistachio farming offers a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction derived from nurturing and cultivating a valuable crop. The process of tending to pistachio orchards from planting young trees to harvesting the mature nuts fosters a deep connection with the land and a profound appreciation for nature's cycles. Moreover, successful pistachio farming allows growers to contribute to the local economy, create employment opportunities, and support rural communities. Beyond tangible rewards, pistachio farming offers intangible benefits such as pride in producing a high-quality agricultural product and a legacy of stewardship for future generations to inherit. Overall, the rewards of pistachio farming extend far beyond financial gain, enriching the lives of growers and their communities with a sense of purpose and accomplishment.